radar. I think that the scale of COVID is still even beyond the realm of possibility that I had initially imagined. But these types of things are types of epidemics that researchers have been warning about for decades. And so we knew that the way in which the earth is being transformed by people through mining and industry and globalization are driving further and further kind of contact between human and animals. And that's the exact recipe for viruses to emerge. And so we knew that these types of circumstances were becoming more and more frequent and that it was bound to happen that there would be some sort of pandemic. Uh, I think that the degree of severity of COVID is something that has even surprised me. Bats have a really insight. Dr. Golden has spent the last 20 years researching in Madagascar where there's a variety of wildlife. Bats are particularly interesting to him because of their immunities. And the islanders also rely heavily on wildlife for nutrition. And the chance of a viral spillover, he says, is high. So how do we get ahead of the next pandemic? One point of attack is to get ahead of the next one by eliminating some of the root factors that drive the spillover events in the first place. So anything that will tackle issues of wildlife, trade, hunting, and trafficking, anything that will tackle deforestation, mining, uh, agricultural expansion, all of these things are factors that will drive the next emergence of a wildlife disease. And so these are things that we could do by being conscious about what we're buying, what we're eating and realizing the own footprint that we have on the world. The other point of attack is to ensure that we have adequate knowledge and response for when the next pandemic will occur, because there will be another one. And so that is all about mitigation efforts and preparation. There's a correlation. He doesn't think we're going to ever get back to the old normal, but says the caution we need to exhibit will extend now for a very long period of time. <laughs>